guys, it's me, Kate again. So for me, damn it, my phone. For me, it has been a few seconds. For you, it might be also that long, but it also be can be a little bit more time. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the stuff that I watched in month of March. Which is a lot, definitely a lot less than I expected it to be. I only watched technically eight different things, plus one honorable mention because technically my mom was watching it while I was reading a book. So I uh, like uh, watched parts of it, but not the whole thing. So let's start with the honorable mention. It's BDS as Colo de Morazo. I'll just check the original German title. So the English English translation is We Children from uh, Bahnhof Zoo. But original German title is Wer uh, Kinder Let me just check. Where Kinder, uh, where Kinder from uh, Bank of So, so uh, it's about it's uh, uh, it's about uh, basically Christiane F and two of the dead tech uh, and two other people uh, wrote a book uh, so about Christiane's life and sh what it was like and the show is based on that book but they changed some things just because uh, the book is literally so and they show in the show times who knows my mom read the book years ago and she doesn't remember very much of it I like she said that she even needed to google things just to refresh her memory of the book because she didn't re remember much so I didn't read this. I said she was watching it when while I was reading a book. So I didn't watch much of it. Uh, I didn't watch much of it. Much of it. So the next thing that I actually have watched is Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, both Croatian dub and sub English sub. English sub just because I was. Um, at a point of my Yu-Gi-Oh! which I was uh, supposed to start it in February, but I had, I don't know, one day of a week left, so it uh, didn't hit, uh, I just left it to March and watch it now, and Croatian dub just because it was on TV. <laughs> Uh, the next thing that I watched to nobody's surprise is the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Oh, Yu Yu Reigns is about Yusaku who 10 years ago was the in this thing called the Hanoi Project or Lost Incident uh, because the People in charge uh, uh, covered it up, so it's called the lost incident. 
and now he's fighting Knights of Hanoi to find out what happened the, all those years ago and to save one person who saved him then. Ryokan. I'm sorry, I has to... I won't say anything else just because a lot of stuff. Uh, Yoko Reigns is the shortest one yet. It's only 120 episodes long. Which uh, you should go and watch it. Preferably after you watched all the other shows just because. Except for Arc 5. But. Then I watched the Big Bang Theory, which is about Leonard, Sheldon, Raj and Howard, who are scientists, and one day Penny moves across the hall from Sheldon and Leonard, and they hang out together. Love that show so much. Then I watched Maggie and Bianca Fashion Friends, which is basically the same reason for Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns creation up, it was on TV, so... And I love that show, 10 out of 10 stars. It's about these girls, Maggie and Bianca, who are in Milan Fashion Academy. And basically they're roommates and they're completely different. Uh, uh, Mia, uh, Bianca's father is this famous fashion design, uh, designer who is rich. So she grew up having money and being a little princess and uh, Maggie on the other hand was raised by her mother who is a musician in like middle class uh, society and they are thrown together and they are completely different people. Maggie is creative. Uh, fun, love, loves, uh, crazy stuff and stuff like that. Then I watched first five episodes of Superman and Lois. Gave it 10 out of 10 stars. Uh, I told you that uh, in Get Ready With Me video that I'll probably link, uh, if I remember. I mentioned that I don't know how it's gonna go, but I love the first five episodes. And... It's about Superman and Lois, like, and in this timeline, they have two teenage boy, boys' sons, Jonathan and Jordan, who are twins. So Jonathan is uh, this uh, football player, or popular one, and Jordan is uh, the one with the social anxiety. Uh, who doesn't really like to be around people, likes to play video games and basically they move for, from Metropolis to Smallville where Superman or Clark can't grow up and they start their lives there and stuff comes, goes from there. Then I watched the movie with my mom, A Man for Every Month which I gave, uh, I think, 8 out of 10 stars, so 4 out of 5, which is a movie about basically uh, uh, in this, on this online website, like journalist website, they had like this article on Man for Every Month and then they decided to put one of their employees uh, to basically uh, blind date process with blind date process with those guys <laughs> and our main character ends up being that employee uh, and things don't go as planned also the producer of this vlog series is the new guy at the company who has this rep reputation of being a playboy 
and uh, like uh, there was literally one point in the movie where she uh, so she is living with uh, her main uh, her best friend is roommates and two of them put face masks on and not expecting everybody anybody to come and he shows up to show her uh, best romantic scenes from romantic movies ever. <laughs> Literally, it's funny. And then I watched the first seven episodes of second season of Batwoman, gave them 10 out of 10 stars. I have to say that I prefer a little bit uh, Ruby Rose is Kitkin and Ryan Wilder, but it's okay. But the two things that I watched were Noblesse, finally. I wanted to watch that for months and I loved it. Noblesse is about these basically high school students who have powers and one of them is noblesse which I can't even start to explain what the hell that means and I also watched Onyx, Onyx Equinox which is about like um, like, uh, like Mayan mythology or something like that uh, 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 and uh, two gods are competing against each other and I can't explain but I love also that. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, like, share and subscribe down below. You have my social media and my email and I'll see you in the next one.